What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. In this episode, we get further on part four of the Eddie Vedder build. For the most part, there's not much we can do right now other than paint, but we did age the parts, all the metal chrome parts for it. This is the first time I've shown anybody how I've done that. I've been using plum brown barrel aging for guns to rust a lot of this stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. So I want to talk a little bit about how we're going to be painting this guitar. The Eddie Vedder guitar is a hollow flake. This is a little bit smaller flake, but it looks awesome. And so this is the company here. They're called Tropical Glitz. I think they recently have been putting their paint into cans. And these are both metal flakes. This was the first one that I ended up trying. This is just a green. It's called Bikini Bottom, which is actually what the guitar is currently painted in because that's what I did with my sample. So this sample was flat black primer, bikini bottom, and then it actually had the clear coat that is from Tropical Glitz as well. Go to their website or go to their YouTube Tropical Glitz and he can describe that way better than I can, but this is much more of a automotive clear versus what I usually use from Stumac. I love their aged clear, which is gonna be on the neck and it's also gonna be on the arm carve of the guitar because that looks like it was carved off once this the guitar was painted it looks like they did the carve afterwards at least that's what i think i have no idea so i'm going to be doing the bare wood that's under the tape on the body with this aged clear as well as the neck and that'll really amber up this neck and, and give it an aged older look which i love that looks so i've used that on many many things and what we've already done is the guitar is in primer black we did the bikini bottom green yesterday starlight next and then we're going to clear it and you can't sand the we've got two cans of this we'll spray it pretty generously with the clear coat so we can sand all of the orange peel out of it and then we'll peel off the tape where the arm carve is that's natural wood natural ash the age lacquer on that this is one of the more complicated paint jobs that we've done but i definitely recommend checking out tropical glitz i'm going to be using them more for sure 